Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. All right, during the week, I was on a live stream uh, with Rick from the La La Farms. He's after a knife to be made. So during the live stream, we designed it. And, you know, time to head out the garage and start making it. So what he's after is a basic English-style chef's knife. So nice little knife. He's going to use it for chicken processing, also for use in the kitchen. Um, so that's what it is. Now I've got a lovely piece of timber that he's picked out on the live stream for it and I'll flash a picture of it up for you. Uh, we're also doing the blade out of uh, carbon steel because he's after that extra sharpness that you're going to get above the stainless. Um, and also we're going to be using brass work which was Little Rick's sort of suggestion. Um, so it's going to have brass bolsters and pins on it. All right, well, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to making this thing. Okay, start of the project is nice and simple. Just put the template down on sheet of 1084 and trace it out. Okay, and then we're onto the bandsaw, um, my little steel cutting bandsaw. Just cutting out the template into the rough shape that I'm after. Uh, as close as possible, I'll follow the contours of the knife um, just so I don't waste any steel and also to leave me less grinding. It is a wee bit hard to try and get into the curves and that sort of thing, but we just follow around as best we can and cut to the basic shape that we're after for the knife. Once we've got the basic shape, then I'll just come back through and cut into the handle and everything like that. Try and get a little bit closer so there's less grinding there. Next up, over to the belt grinder we go. Uh, just refining those shapes, getting that little bit closer and bringing it down to the profile that I'm after. Okay, now just using the platen itself, just that long flat section just to tidy up all the straight sections so just want to get that blade profile just right and also the back of the knife just right long straight sections and i just need to take out any unevenness in them okay now we just refine the shape of the handle just that curve on the back end of it and then up onto the wheel at the top just into the curves there, just refining down, down that shape, trying it as we go along and making sure it fits the hand well. Okay, now I'm just going to rough set out uh, where the brass bolster is going to go. From there, I can work out where the pins are going to go. I just generally hand mark them in. Uh, I find my eye tends to be pretty good for working out the location of them. And next up, just using a center punch just to punch those holes in. Uh, this is a self drive center punch. So, just giving myself a dimple there so I can start the drill in it. Okay, next up using a wood backing piece and the pedestal drill. First of all, I'll go through and mark each of the holes. So just put the tip of the drill in. Okay, now drilling those holes out. Just gonna put a little bit of a lubricating fluid on there uh, just to help keep the bit cool and help it go through the metal that little bit easier. So this bit I'm running through is an 8 inch bit and then we're going to go back through with the quarter inch bit and do the back holes for it. Okay, so we'll over to that quarter inch bit, a little bit of lubrication and just drilling these holes out. The pins that go in the handle I use are quarter inch, so if I 
I start with my eighth inch bit and then I take the quarter inch through. This steel is fairly hard already, so if I take my time and go with a couple of drills, it works better. Okay, and into the forge we go. Now the forge is sitting at about a thousand degrees Celsius, about 1800 Fahrenheit, so yeah, it's nice and hot in there. And we're just gonna leave it in there until it comes out and it's just passed on magnetic. You see there, I test it up against a magnet and then into a quench we go. Um, just using a canola oil for it. So just quenching it down in the canola oil, taking the majority of the heat out of it. And from there, we will just go across into a plate quench. Just checking for straightness on the way. I just want to have any bow facing upwards so I can clamp it down and try and pull that bow out of it. And on goes the top plate. And then we start clamping it up nice and hard just to pull it down a straight and get it where we're looking for. Uh, from here, it'll go inside to temper in the oven and the next time you will see it is when we start grinding on the bevels for it uh, thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now